Hey guys, uh, so we just wanted to take some time to tell a little bit more of the story behind Flora. Uh, we've done some reels posting about it and some of the pictures of product development, but thought it would be cool to just go a little bit more in depth, the full story behind it. Uh, so we originally were uh, LED artists making art installations for events and activations and concerts. Uh, that was how we kind of got started cutting our teeth. So um, we would create act temporary activations for events things like concerts, music festivals, and then we started getting into more permanent installations for big real estate companies, cities, outdoor events. Um, and we had always wanted to do something for the home just because a lot of our things were kind of ticketed events or in certain locations. And we really wanted to like kind of bring immersive lighting and these uh, magical experiences to more people. So uh, we knew we wanted to make consumer product for the home and uh, we had done really well with natural form factors, things like trees and flowers. And uh, yeah, we were just thinking about what to do for the home. And then uh, we had this picture of this Monstera plant that became a big influence for um, design influence for what we wanted to do in the home. And we took that original picture and had one of our designers make a rendering of it. Uh, and that first rendering we had of, uh, looked actually very similar to the Flora Mini actually. Um, that was kind of the spark. That was the thing we were showing to our friends and colleagues and everyone was really excited about it. We rendered it, you know, uh, in someone's home, but also in like an office building and in a bar. And it just seemed to work everywhere because the houseplant form factor was just something uh, so many people were already familiar with. Um, and it really plays to the strengths of our style of lighting, which is like volumetric three-dimensional lighting. So to have a piece of hardware that takes up physical space really just makes a lot of sense for us. Um, so yeah, that was in April of 2020 uh, when we first came up with the concept and we started building prototypes right away. Um, we had an existing kind of, some existing hardware, some existing tree hardware. So we were able to, um, well, I guess our first prototype was out of uh, uh, cereal boxes and clothes hangers and it was some dirt in a ceramic pot. And just to get the form factor right, cause we knew we had a leaf that was around this size. And uh, so we kind of just did that. And then we took uh, some of the leaves we had been building our LED trees with and did some real wiring and um, put our software on a Raspberry Pi, which is just an embedded Linux board. And we had our first like real working prototype probably in about June of 2020. Um, and so, you know, felt really good about that. And then we got started really redesigning the leaf. The leaf was the big thing we wanted to redesign first. Uh, the leaf we had when we started floor development was really good, but it had really big LED hotspots on it. And uh, we knew if we were going to put something inside someone's home that was going to be looked at like really in a really like close, intimate setting, we need to get rid of it. Uh, so we spent about a year redesigning that and doing the STEM system. And, you know, what we were focusing on when we were designing those things was something that was beautiful something that was uh, kind of concealed and felt like it could be in your home. It didn't feel like a plastic toy. Um, one of the big things was making all of the hardware detachable. So the leaf detaches, uh, the stem detaches here as well. Um, and that just like really makes assembly much easier. It makes replacing hardware much easier. Um, yeah, just all of the things that go with shipping a consumer product to someone's home, we kind of thought about and tried to streamline. Uh, so with the first floor, we spent about a year working on the stem and leaf system. Uh, we launched a Kickstarter in October of 2020, so that was about two years ago, and that Kickstarter did really well. We raised $165,000. Uh, so that was when we knew the product really had some legs and like people were really excited about it. Um, so yeah, we worked on product development for a long time. And in around a year ago, probably around September, October of 2021, we kicked off our production run in China. It took about two months to make in China, and then we filled up a 40-foot container with all of our flora and uh, had that container brought over to Oakland. And then we did some, we received our flora units in January or February of 22 this year. Uh, we did a bunch of assembly. Uh, and retested a bunch of the hardware just because it was our first run. We wanted to make sure like our, our quality assurance and we, we just wanted to make sure all the hardware was gonna work when it got to our consumers' homes. Um, so we got to ship that out in April. It's been about seven months now since our first 600 customers have had them in their homes. We made ended up making about 750 of these flora plants in our first run. 
and everyone's been super, super happy so far. It's been amazing to finally get to that point where, you know, we had this vision of being able to bring these art experiences into people's homes and, and now we totally get to do that. And so the next step is, is just with this mini product. Um, the biggest thing we, I'm gonna stop here and then I'll talk about the mini, but I wanna change the, the pattern.